I'm Jessica Cartelia with your evening digital news brief for Friday, January 4th. A 21-year-old man who entered a Darby Elementary School with a gun and a bag of narcotics is in custody after a violent struggle. Officials say around noon today, Nazar Sabri was allowed to enter Park Lane Elementary School. He asked a few questions and left. Police were then called because he was knocking on doors in the neighborhood. During their pursuit, police say Sabri threatened officers with a gun, but no shots were fired. It took four officers to eventually bring him down. Down. Philadelphia Highway Patrol Officer Andy Chan is still fighting for his life after he was hit by a minivan in the Northeast last night. We're told doctors are aggressively monitoring him. The 24-year-old or 24-year veteran of the force has a serious head injury that required major surgery. Last night, he was struck by the minivan at the intersection of Ron Street and Roland Avenue. Police are characterizing the crash as an accident. They say the 79-year-old driver of the minivan remained at the scene. Questions remain this evening after police found a woman burned beyond recognition in West Philadelphia. Officials were called to the 4400 block of Ludlow Street to find a woman's body on fire lying between two parked cars. At the scene, detectives found what's believed to be a container of gasoline just six feet away from the body. They also found a lighter. The woman has yet to be identified. President Trump says he'll shut down the government for years if necessary to get funding for a border wall. Earlier, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer met with President Trump at the White House. Negotiations are expected to continue over the weekend. The partial government shutdown is now in its 14th day. About 800,000 federal workers are not getting paid. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here at CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the Evening Digital Brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.